Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to be talking a little about the uh, translation program of the Muftiyat uh, from um, local languages into English. Um, the principal work that's being done in that field at the moment is the translation of the, uh, the works of the most revered sheikhs and spiritual mentors of the uh, Caucasus. The first book that uh, we've been working on, as a team working on this, uh, is uh, the book called, in English, Virtues of the Righteous, by Sheikh uh, Ahmad Afandi, the present uh, mufti of uh, the Republic of, of Dagestan. Um, his book was uh, translated into uh, Russian some years ago and has become a really treasured text uh, for the population of, uh, of Dagestan and more broadly in the Caucasus. Uh, he first wrote this uh, book in, in Arabic and then a version was written by him in Avar, which is the Sheikh's uh, native language. Uh, it was then, with close uh, supervision of the Sheikh, translated into Russian. I, with a colleague, then translated that Russian version into uh, into English. When that work was completed, uh, it was necessary, we felt, to go back to the original uh, Arabic and Ava text. Um, because once we started doing that, we realized that there were some uh, nuances in the original Arabic and Ava text, which are very similar to one another, and the, um, and the Russian version. Uh, the Russian version, it seems, uh, was slightly um, modified to, um, to suit the needs of the, um, the general public in, um, in Dagestan. Therefore, we uh, spent a considerable amount of time uh, working on the, um, the, the Arabic and Ava version and making sure that parts of it that were really essential parts of the uh, Sheikh's message to, uh, to bring it um, into the, the, the body of the, the, the English text. Um, that means that we, this book will shortly be published and um, it will be hopefully read in the English-speaking world. One of the reasons we felt that this translation series was important was that it was very obvious to me, especially as a historian of Islamic culture and particularly of Sufism, that the, uh, internationally there's on the one hand a really great interest in, in Sufism and on the other hand a parallel great naivety about what Sufism is and that it is an Islamic religious phenomenon. If you look at the literature on Sufism in English, it's really truly enormous and they're often very paradoxical situations that one finds where people are being given degrees of, of higher degrees at universities in various countries in Sufism uh, without being Muslim at all. So, you know, that paradox uh, exists. The reality in Dagestan was that uh, has from the uh, first century of Islam being a truly Islamic uh, area of the world and it has never, never altered. It has never uh, been affected by um, any radical um, um, disruptions of the basic Islamic uh, message that's uh, understood by its population in spite of the Soviet period when um, many aspects of Islam were, were illegal. The reality was that even though um, these um, atheistic uh, procedures were in place, that people throughout the, the, the area of Dagestan, particularly in the mountains, managed to uh, keep their children informed about Islam, uh, taught the Quran, and uh, to preserve, preserve basic uh, Islamic uh, cultural mores. Um, so, we felt that a text as basic as the uh, text of uh, Sheikh uh, Ahmad Afandi uh, would be a, m a mechanism to, uh, to help 
those really interested in Sufism internationally to understand what the basic underlying message was of Sufism. And that really is one of peace. And that for me is a very, very uh, personal um, aspect of why I'm very involved in what I'm doing. Because as most of our viewers understand, there's a lot of negative um, uh, reactions to Islam throughout the world today, which somehow give the overriding impression that Islam is basically in some way an aggressive uh, culture. And that's certainly not the case. It's a culture of peace. And that message of peace and care for one another and consideration for one another and honesty is at the heart of the, uh, this book by Sheikh uh, Ahmad Afandi, Virtues of, of the Righteous. Um, the second book that we've been working on is, uh, was produced by Said Afandi, Sheikh Said Afandi, who uh, was uh, Sheikh here before um, the present Mufti, but who unfortunately lost his life in a, a terrorist attack some years ago. Um, that text is also very much treasured here and um, is very, very valuable in not so much um, passing on the, uh, the spiritual, personal message of um, the virtues of the righteous, but in helping Muslims to understand the, the internal logic behind being a Muslim and the ways of properly being a Muslim. So that book is presently in, in translation and hopefully in the, in the near future it will be um, available in English. Um, English is a language that um, is very, very much um, appreciated in Dagestan. Uh, Dagestan is an interesting republic in that um, it's very, very internationally outward looking in spite of it being in a, what one might call a corner of the world, which not a lot of people unfortunately understand. And there's a tremendous interest in Dagestan in the study of English. Uh, the university has uh, very good uh, English language programs, as do uh, many of the schools here, including uh, a group of schools that are sponsored by the Muftiyat. They have a, uh, an English stream. So gradually in Dagestan, there's uh, being produced a sort of cadre of uh, English speaking students. Some of them are my students and some of them are absolutely extremely uh, adept at English, even though they haven't managed to travel abroad. It surprises me that without that contact, people can have such a, um, an excellent knowledge of the English language. Um, this English language um, um, initiative of the Muftiyat is also expressed in the um, newspaper which is being produced over the more than a year now, which is uh, Asalam in English. Um, and it has uh, each uh, edition a, um, a section related to women, a section related to spirituality, a section related to Islam and science, a section related to, um, to uh, society and the family. Um, and that is available um, uh, on the web internationally. Just you go to the Muftiyat site and you can just link immediately into all of the editions that have been published. Um, Part of the, uh, the, the series has included the uh, sections of the translation of uh, Virtues of the Righteous um, as it's been uh, gradually translated. The Muftiyat itself has a major scientific uh, section which is continually um, researching and translating uh, Arabic manuscripts which survive in Dagestan. Dagestan has, was one of the biggest uh, resources of unresearched Islamic manuscripts in the world. We, we calculate that some 45,000 uh, Islamic manuscripts still exist in, in Dagestan. Most of these are in uh, state collections, 
but have not been uh, investigated really for more than their actual textual content. The fact that many of these are extremely beautiful examples of Islamic book production has been overlooked. And one of the things we're doing in this program is to um, uh, bring out the, uh, the beauty of the calligraphy through. Uh, of course, one of the things that's really interesting uh, when you uh, know Dagestan is that Arabic is widely taught um, in Dagestan, in madrasas, and in uh, the university as well. This Arabic heritage program is going to focus on um, three major aspects that need support in Dagestan. One is the, uh, the fact that Dagestan has a tremendous epigraphic um, heritage, that is to say, um, inscriptions on stone are mainly on tombstones throughout Dagestan. Dagestan literally has hundreds of thousands of tombstones which are beautifully carved and with beautiful inscriptions in Arabic. So for a uh, historian of the Arabic language in the Caucasus, this is a major source. And uh, so this program has been going since the Soviet period onwards and is still continuing uh, through the uh, work of the archaeologists at the Federal Research Center in Mahachkala. Apart from the work on the epigraphic uh, survey, uh, work is also going to be done on the, the calli calligraphy, uh, the beauties of calligraphy of Islamic manuscript collections in, in Dagestan. I said that most of these manuscripts are in uh, state collections in, um, in Dagestan. Some of them, of course, are in collections that were assembled during the Soviet period. Uh, in Moscow and uh, what was then Leningrad, now St. Petersburg. But as well, there were many, many private collections in local homes uh, throughout the countryside of Dagestan. Many of those uh, are still uh, un uh, catalogued and uninvestigated. So this is a little today that I've spoken about the uh, relationship between the Muftiyat and the use of the English language. Um, However, one should stress that this is just one part of the foreign language outreach of the, uh, of the Muftiyat of Dagestan. Since the incorporation of the, uh, the, the newspaper called As Salam of uh, the Muftiyat 25 years ago, the Muftiyat has produced uh, versions in many of the national languages of, uh, of Dagestan and in recent times has also been uh, projecting further to uh, provide uh, work in, in Turkish and in uh, Tajik um, of the uh, work that's been done by uh, Sheikh Said, uh, excuse me, Sheikh uh, Ahmad Afandi. So our hope is that uh, through these uh, various mechanisms of English language outreach which include, and I should have mentioned this earlier on, that the virtues of the righteous, now that it's been translated uh, from other Arabic and uh, Russian into English, is being made available on YouTube um, as YouTube videos in English. So the whole of that text is available by, through an English speaker in English to anybody that wishes to um, to, uh, to listen to them and I strongly advise anybody that has an interest in Sufism to please you know, have a look at uh, and uh, consider these uh, beautiful videos that have been produced because they bring across the, the real message of Sufism which has been part of the culture of Dagestan since uh, the, uh, over the last at least 1,000 years.